Live from Shadowmere Studios, this is the Talkie Box Podcast, Earth's Mightiest Hero. It's true. I mean, don't ask us to do anything because, like, we're busy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your host, Dave, and with me tonight are Justin. Hey. And Kate. Hey. And Kate is wearing a shirt full of unicorns that I got her for Christmas. Aww. He did. It was very thoughtful, yeah. actually. It's very rainbowy. Yeah. Yeah. Reminds me of that game, like, uh, what's it called? Robot Unicorn? Yeah, Robot Unicorn Attack. Robot Unicorn Attack. Yeah. I feel like I send people weird what messages when I wear this show. I recently found out that unicorns are a symbol for a third. Like, I don't know. Sexually? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like a new thing. Like, swingers refer to it. So I worry when I wear this show if I'm, like, <laughs> selling, telling people, like, hey. I think to say shirt. See, I, yeah. You, show. you said you, when you wear the show. When I wear but the show. Now, like, my, <laughs> my understanding shirt. was that a unicorn was, like, that hard to find special someone like and that's yeah. what I thought like too. like the 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 lady who plays video games or right. yeah. the man who washes the dishes <laughs> a unicorn yeah. that was my understanding of it in fact that's what, and now it's kind um, of changed a little bit I guess that's what my and, boyfriend has always referred to me as as a unicorn because I'm you know yeah you know, plays games and stuff but right. there's this let me see if I can get it exactly right maybe mm. urban dictionary can help me out here. I would appreciate that yeah because I need to stay on top of the hip lingo mm -hmm. because now I find um, that I am not as good with the young hip vocabulary as I once thought I was. <laughs> it's Provide changing so fast. Provide some examples. I want to know. Provide some examples. Yeah. I don't know. For some reason, people just always laugh at me when I say things like on fleek. Well, that's because it's stupid. You're right. It is stupid. <laughs> and I say it in a stupid way, but then every once in a while, the, I'll hear a phrase or something. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just get it wrong if I try and repeat it. Like, uh, have, have, have you heard the phrase when someone's sleeping on something? Like, mm. oh, that new re I, we've been sleeping on that new restaurant. Its food is amazing. I've not heard that. So basically what it means is that you've been asleep mm. and have not been made aware of how great something is. You're sleeping on it. Okay, so you haven't been there. See, right. But you've, okay. Well, like, so like if, like if I were to say, like, um, like... Let's say I go and I get the new God of, uh, God of War game, yep. right? And I play it, and it's wonderful, but everybody else has already been playing. It's like you're coming into information mm -hmm. that was already somewhat common knowledge. Okay. Like if I were to say, oh, guys, I, I just checked out that Iron Man movie. <laughs> I've been sleeping on that movie. Who knew it was so good when like everybody every, else yeah. knows it's so good? Okay. Well, I got it backwards, and I said something was sleeping on me, and I got a lot of chuckles out of it. They're yeah. like, oh, man, Pff, California Draymond's been sleeping on me. Wait, what did you say? Uh, it, it's uh, been sleeping on me? I don't know. No, no, you've been sleeping on it. Uh, so all right. I hear it, it makes me think of a big decision. Like, you know, when you're, someone's like, oh, hey, do you want to, do you want to... Yeah. You know, invest this like, money to go on the show. Sleep on it. Money sleep on yeah. it. Yep. I, gotta, I don't know yet. It, it, things These changes. kids today changing stuff up. They change it yeah. all the time. I was actually reading a really interesting article about um, how language has evolved, especially with the help of the internet and so, social media, mm -hmm. how the English language has evolved so much and how you can convey information in really crazy ways. And, like, one of the things that they brought up, you know, aside from like emojis and BRB and yeah. um, all of these different apps that you can use. Um, you can, like memes mm -hmm. are a form of communication and memes have nuance and they have history involved. And like there's a lot of information that you have to have culturally to understand a meme, but it's a new form of language right. to communicate through these memes because of all the nuance that comes with it. Yeah. And it was a really fascinating read because it, it's basically saying, you know, we've been doing this language evolution thing forever. Mm -hmm. Language is constantly evolving, but because of social media and the internet, we're seeing a language evolve much more rapidly than it has in the past oh. because you can spread this word or this phrase yeah. or um you know these i can't even think of the word right now um that 
you don't get mm -hmm. if you don't have that interconnectivity of the whole world. And it's really, really cool yeah. to try and learn that stuff. So I try and learn the language as best I can. Um, and I figured it would be pretty easy seeing as how I already speak it. Yeah. But it's not as easy as you would think. Right. And I hear people say things all the time. I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? Like, right. It goes back to needing that cultural saturation, that cultural backstory that because... We're not young men anymore, Dave. We no. don't get. We don't get that exposure. That's true. I mean, I'm, I'm 25, and I already sometimes some of the younger people. Mm. I don't know. Like I learned this was this concept amazed me. Uh, have you ever heard of a finsta? Not that I'm aware of. Nope. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> okay. And like the how you put the f in front of it, and that changes its meaning. But a finsta is basically a secondary Instagram account. Oh. where your actual personality goes. And so, yeah. So you're supposed to use your Instagram that everyone can see for, for staged photos, you know, to basically make your life and yourself look maybe more cool and polished. It's, it's, the, oh. it's the marketing page. Like, yeah. hi, this is me. Buy me today. <laughs> yeah. Where then the Finsta is, is is the real you. Is the real you and okay. essentially... Only all your friends get on that all, Instagram. Yeah, all your, all your bullshit. Okay. Like, you know, the pictures you take of your coffee or the selfies that aren't so cute. I guess. I it guess that's the idea. Maybe friend Insta or first Insta? Uh, I'm not sure. Or... Speaking of Instagram, though, I found out recently um, there's an actress, Cara Delevingne. Um, yeah, mm -hmm, I can't. Mm -hmm. I know she was in some Disney stuff mm -hmm. all back in the. She was in the um, um that new, uh, what's it called with that one guy? I'm, yeah, I, I've Space given. Jam. I've. Yeah. <laughs> this is um the same girl who was in um. <laughs> We're having a great all time right. figuring out what this. Girl uh, is so about. all right, so it's this that kid. movie with Logan Lerman. That right? She's in that. She plays his sister, I think. Um, the one that's about the Charlie. Um, something about um, a wallflower. I'm so Perks of being a wallflower? Perks of being, being a wallflower. I believe she plays the sister. I don't remember. The, the, remember the movie Maybe. Uh, She's the girl with Chronicle. the real thick eyebrows, right? Remember the movie Chronicle? Mm, I do remember Chronicle. You remember the, the main kid in that? I can't remember his name to save my life right now. Um, <laughs> but he was in, hold on, I'm pulling it up. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm going to do a little this bit gonna, of digging. Is going to come back to Card or yeah, something? Yeah. Okay. Dane DeHaan is his name. Okay. And he was in a movie with Card Levine called, uh, Valerian. There Valerian. it is. That Valerian. was a terrible Wait. movie. I never saw it. Wait. Oh, you save yourself some money and time. Am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. I think I'm talking about the wrong, the wrong actress then. Yeah, because um, I um, most definitely that's I'm thinking Cara of Delevingne. Nina. Yeah, I'm thinking of Nina Dobrev. Yeah. She was in Paper Towns. It looks like yeah. she might have been in mm. the, the one you're talking Are about. Are you no, spreading misinformation? No, I'm, Dave? I'm thinking of a different actress. That's okay, what it perfect. Is. There's another actress. <laughs> you're going to have to figure out her name. She used to be on Disney. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. The point I was getting at was this girl recently came out and told how much she is making only through Instagram, and it is. Many tens of thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. just on Instagram. It's insane, and a lot of these Instagram we have an Instagram. Just so you know, you can give us money. I guess. I mean, we be what a lot of them do um, is they do like sponsorships and sponsorship yeah. ha hashtags. Like they'll take a picture of them wearing some new Nike shoes, and it'll be like hashtag Nike Revelations or whatever it's called, right. and. That is like, and you'll see it. It'll say it's a sponsored post because yeah. they're getting paid to post that. Yeah. And then they can post whatever the fuck they want in between. But every once in a while, like, here, post a Starbucks yeah. cup of I'm coffee in your hand that. and say hashtag Starbucks or hashtag way to start the day. You have, to like, have <laughs> like between five and 10,000 followers. But basically, yeah. you apply for it. You can be like, hey, you know, like I have a friend who does that. She does competitive bodybuilding. And mm -hmm. she's also um, in several mini Hooters calendars. Mm -hmm. And she's a bikini model. Um, so her resume is obviously pretty extensive, and what she did is she kind of applied for it. She's like, look, you know, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. This is my lifestyle. These are how many, like, subscribers or whatever I have. And they were like, okay, and now they send her, like, protein milkshakes, and she's just got to be like, oh, yeah, just starting the day off right with my protein milkshake. I totally oh. drink this. But see, now you have to, in order to do something like that, one, you have to be a religious poster. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to give people content, because it's essentially the same thing as any other form of entertainment, like, 
we put out videos every week, more mm-hmm. or less. But <laughs> yeah. but these guys they post pictures yeah. like, and they do it multiple times a day. Multiple times a day, yeah. the followers are just like, be. "Oh, look what Rihanna's doing!" Or right. and because they have that attention and attraction, like you have to have a number of followers so that they know they're getting their word out. Yeah, and but you have to continue to give content to keep people interested. Otherwise, this is gonna kill me on who that girl actually was. And it has I can't to remember be her name. Polished looking. To do you. you know a movie that she was on? She was she was in. A Disney TV show for a while. Okay. Do you know what Disney mm-hmm. TV show? Uh, she wasn't the star. I know that. Okay. Oh, perfect. Oh. We're getting nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she was. Uh, well, I'm no, not going to find out. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh, anyway, she makes crazy money. Who is that money. Disney like crazy bitch? Money. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I sure would so, like to make a lot of money. Now, I started the show. What did you find? I found it. Yeah, yeah. who is it? Uh, this person calls it being a guest star and Britney Spears has written a song about it. You get what we're talking about, a threesome, specifically the bisexual or just flexible third person, a couple adds to their relationship, also known as the unicorn. Okay. So it is basically a bisexual girl Mm -hmm. that is willing to have sex with your man and your woman. Okay. Unicorn. Interesting. I remember growing up, like, everybody, like, everybody thought unicorns were for girls, and if if you were a guy who liked unicorns, you were a sissy or something like that, and I'll tell you what. Unicorns are fucking awesome. A unicorn is a horse. Right? It's, it's a, a horse, horse, which is a very powerful animal. And then it has a diamond sharp spike coming out of the front of its fucking head. Mm-hmm. You know what I that think? metal is shit. You know what I think is, is, is probably one of the biggest issues with it, though? Hmm. Is it's the coloring. You know? You get the bright white sparkly horse with like the pink or the purple mane and then the horn. Then it looks a little weird. But if, yeah. if you did like a black unicorn with like a black and white spiral badass spike. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fuck yeah. Have you seen, you've seen Kevin in the Woods, right? I have. That'll that'll give you a different view on unicorns right there. <laughs> uh, oh, that movie. movie. Speaking of great movies, and the it's way amazing. I started the show, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, obviously a reference to um, Batman. Avengers. Yes. <laughs> Avengers. Yes. Avengers. And uh, we're not we're not gonna, no spoilers right now. No spoilers. Right now. It's no a spoilers. hot topic. Right now. But we are planning to do another video that will have spoilers, so if you want to hear our actual opinions about the movie and the things that happen into it, check out that video, too. In the meantime, but, hashtag Thanos demands your silence. That's true. Enjoy your watered-down um, version. So, spoiler-free. Spoiler-free. We've all seen Avengers. Yes. Wow. It Amazing. Was, yeah, it was fantastic. I think one of the things that I liked the most about the movie, mm-hmm. removing all plot, Yeah. removing all the events that happened... Mm-hmm. Was and we're speaking of, of course, Avengers: Infinity War. Infinity yeah, War, not just the first one. So I liked the coverage, mm-hmm. and I liked how uh, it it wasn't a mess with the number of characters you have in this movie, yeah. with mm-hmm. the the number of details and backstories you have to put in there, as well as finally giving you development mm. on this big supervillain who's been the villain fucking. 12 movies ago, yeah. 13 movies ago, he was revealed as the main villain. Mm-hmm. Building up, building up, building up to finally give him that development. They did an amazing job right. of spreading it out. You got to look all over the MCU, mm-hmm. uh, all kinds of different places and locales from across the MCU. You get tons of characters. You get decent Halfway decent time with the characters. You know, some yeah. of the secondary characters, you don't get so much. I don't think I'd be spoiling it to say you don't get a ton of the Winter Soldier. Right. You don't get a ton of the Mantis, mm-hmm. but they're there, and you do get you get and, bites. And they each have their parts to play. They all have their parts to play. Like, no one was it, there just be, just to put them in there. Like, everybody had a role. And and it made sense mm-hmm. the way that they did it. it. It wasn't a mess. With all of those characters, you really run the risk of it getting convoluted and kind of like being getting very away. similar to a DC movie. Yeah. <laughs> like all of that, st- all yeah. those details would get in the way, but they had a, an amazing flow to it. They brought everyone in, in a really smart way. Mm-hmm. And the decisions that everyone made, yeah. I think really made sense. Um, so that was one of the first things I liked it for yeah. a two and a half hour long movie. It held me captivated the entire time. Yeah. It was action packed, but it definitely had, it's nice low moments that you need in a movie like that. Mm-hmm. Just incredibly well done. I will say this is not a movie to go in 
and watch if you haven't seen the other movies. Absolutely like, not. You need to see. There's, there's you a need couple to see movies maybe all you of them. No, there, you need to see all of them. No, there's a couple. Like, because uh, I went to see it with Jackie, my girlfriend, and mm. she had not seen Civil War. And there was only a couple parts in there where, like, that would even be a thing where you had to know. Like, you know, I that's feel why like this Civil is War this, is probably but, one of the most crucial movies to see. Yeah. Because you have. We will spoil Civil War for you guys. Because it came out two years ago? Yeah, something like that. Is you have the whole break of the Avengers. Yep. Like, why aren't the Avengers still a thing and still Earth's Mightiest Heroes looking right. out for all of these threats? Because they're scattered. Why are they scattered? You need to watch Civil War to know. But it, it does kind of go into that in this movie. I it explains. It gives you, it like, gives you like... Okay. Yeah. It, it gives you, like, an abridged cliff notes mm-hmm. of Civil War. It's like, right. oh, we're not on speaking terms. Why are we not on speaking terms? Mm, meh. Like, you don't, you don't get the whole backstory about Tony's father. You don't get the whole backstory about the Winter Soldier. You, right. you really miss out on a lot of the background information for these characters that help drive their motivations. Um, does a lot of it come into play? Not necessarily. It definitely helps to have seen that, but I, I do agree. Yeah. I think you could not, and it just is... Yeah. Well, there's, there's some movies you have to, like you have to have seen Black Panther. You have to. You have to have seen, Black, have Panther. To have seen Black Panther. Otherwise, Black Panther. a lot of this movie isn't going to. But make I mean, sense. like, think of it this way: Captain America Shield, mm-hmm. Captain America being Nomad and not Captain America, though they still credit him as as Captain America in the credits, which I kind of took issue with, because he's clearly the Nomad. Yeah, but nobody's called him that. Nobody's called him that. He should have just been Steve Rogers then, because yeah. he's clearly the Nomad. He doesn't have his shield. Yeah, he's careful now. Spoiler, kind yeah, of stuff, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I, I'm measured, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> but he doesn't have his shield. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he he's outfitted differently. Yeah, I'll say it like that. He's outfitted differently, and uh, he has a beard, which Cap never had a beard. Mm. Yes, he does. <laughs> so, I like, did. I think I think that was definitely a pivotal pivotal movie. You have to have seen uh, Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. Yep. You have to have seen Thor Ragnarok. Like, yeah, that's a big part. Oh, that's yeah. a that's a big one, and I think Thor goes through some pretty pivotal changes. Mm-hmm. I think Thor Ragnarok honestly was the movie that the whole MCU needed mm-hmm. in order to get to this point. Like mm-hmm. you don't think about it leading up to it, but once Avengers you watch well. Thor Ragnarok and then you watch Infinity War, you're like, that was probably one of the most crucial pieces in Phase Three to actually get us where we needed to go. Yeah, it, it brought together. The universe. Mm -hmm. Like, one of the things they mention in Thor Ragnarok, they mention Xandar. They they say, da-da-da-da-da-da, Xandar. And immediately, Guardians of the Galaxy, they help really tie in that this is all the same spot. Right. This is all the same space. Asgard, you already knew, was just a super advanced race. Mm -hmm. And now you're finding out that it's a a much bigger universe and galaxy than you thought. That brings me... Go ahead. Can and I also say, it ends and then immediately begins. Yeah. I love how the characters interacted with each other. I mean, some of those people have worked with each other previously, like, you know, uh, Robert Downey Jr. and mm. Chris, is that his name? Chris, um... Hemsworth. Evans. Hems- Pratt. Hemsworth. <laughs> okay. Uh, they've obviously <laughs> built up some on-screen chemistry. Yeah. They've worked with each other several movies, but Chris Pratt coming into that, he hasn't worked with most of those people. Mm. And... Spoiler alert, you do see them interact, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I just loved how seamlessly it all happened. Right. Like, you know, there wasn't any awkward... I actually saw an interview that, that Tom Holland was doing with uh, uh, Bandersnatch Cumberbund. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Tom Holland, Spider-Man. Yeah. And Bandersnatch Cumberbund, also known as Benedict Cumberbatch. Doctor uh, Strange. Doctor Strange. And uh, <laughs> it was funny seeing them sitting next to each other and talking together and, and how well they were getting along. And then they mentioned later on in the interview they'd known each other for about twelve hours at that point. Like they had just shot some stuff together and then went and did this interview together. And they yeah. and they're like that whole like you know banter and that riff between um, Doctor Strange and Iron Man mm. is just so perfect. Oh, it's really good. I think one of the things that uh, another thing going back to like how seamless it was is all of the Marvel movies up until this point each kind of had their own theme and their own tone and their own feel. You know, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy obviously. Super sci-fi and spacey and kind of, you know, like a ragtag bunch. Uh, And then you have, you know, Thor, which has been, like, really high fantasy. Mm -hmm. Iron Man, which is a little more military. Captain America, which is military and, like, patriotism. And And political. Yeah, and then you have uh, Black Panther, which is a lot about culture and pride. 
and then they smash all of these these characters together mm. and it, it just it feels so seamless like you can't put your finger on the genre because it is fantasy it is fantastical in mm. some ways and it does have a lot of science fiction in there as well but there is also still those other themes and tones that you get from Captain America and that you get from Iron Man yeah. that just all kind of seamlessly work together and I think that it, it's smashing records and it's going to keep doing so oh, yeah. and I think that for us to have waited 10 years for them to build this franchise and to build this universe in the way that they have um, this was a great payoff oh, yeah. this was a wonderful here's 10 years in the making guys <sighs> tell us what you think it culminated in a really really cool way not only is it uh, are they smashing these big like uh, apparently Lucasfilm sent a um a nice message to Marvel saying, you know, congratulations on beating us because, Mar like, up until now, Lucasfilm had the highest grossing uh, opening weekend of any movie ever mm -hmm. uh, with, I, I suppose, the last one, The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. Um, and then now uh, Infinity War just blew that out of the water. Yeah. I mean, so. it's, it's it's going to continue to do so. It's, it's just too... It's too good. And it's you too, know. Me and my girlfriend are already saying, like, how many more times are we going to see this? Because we got home the other day. and I already want to see it again. I've seen it once. <laughs> like, I, I have, Tuesday. I have all of the Marvel movies on my phone, with the exception of Black Panther and Infinity War. Right. All of the other movies I already have on my phone, I've already bought and downloaded. So we got home and we, like, well, let's scroll through some Marvel and yeah. watch some. And, you know, we talk about Marvel a lot on this show. Yes, so I do. think that... I think maybe our viewers have been waiting for this discussion as well. <laughs> um, but we started scrolling through, and she chose Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. We started watching Doctor Strange, and she's just sitting there, and she's like, I, I kind of just really want to go see that movie again. <laughs> like, I just want to see it again. Yeah. And I, I'm right there with, like, I want to go see this movie again. Mm -hmm. I, I might go see it tomorrow. I don't know. I'm off. Yeah. yeah. I might. The only hangup is it's two and a half hours, mm -hmm. but it's an amazing movie. <laughs> yeah. I just need to find someone to go with me. I will say... Uh, Double date. <laughs> I'm going to say, like, one thing that I'm, I'm a little hesitant about with this movie was that um, there were people, and, and we'll probably go more into this in the in the other video about the, with the spoilers, but, like, there were some characters who did not show up in this. There were. Oh, and not just... Yeah. like and they, and they reference a couple of them, but there's several that they don't mention not being in there, and I still think it was... I thought it was a noticeable difference. It know. was different for yeah. me. I kept waiting for a very specific person or two. Mm -hmm. there, there were two characters that I think everybody thought was going to be in the movie mm -hmm. that didn't end up coming to the movie. Which is very strange. But they did address why those two characters didn't show up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, they... they, they Brushed it off, but they, they brushed it off. They yeah. they they made, they just basically gave those characters excuses. Like, yeah, mm. they're sitting this out. Here's why. Yeah. Um. But there are a few other characters that one just like don't show up or don't get mentioned, mm. and there's one or two particular characters that um I have major questions about mm. because they just. You get no explanation as to where they go. Yep. And they were in places where a whole bunch of other shit happened. <laughs> and you see the outcome of all that other shit, but yeah. these characters are never even addressed. And you and, just have all these questions. Yeah. But we'll get more of that in the... Yeah, in the spoiler. The spoiler full rather than spoiler free. Yeah. Yeah. It's very spoiler full. <laughs> we're going Not to spoiled, though. We're Ooh. going to spoil you <laughs> with our opinions. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, had a lot of them. excellent movie. Very excited to see where it goes from here. We have one more movie this year from the MCU coming out. Uh, Ant Man and Wasp. Wasp. Um, and then next year we have Captain Marvel. Yep. Oh and then my god! Avengers. Avengers, whatever they're going to call it. Untitled. Yeah. Well, I think initially it was supposed to be Infinity War Part, part two. One and Infinity War yeah. Part Two, but I think they've just changed it all together. Um, and I have Ooh. some other opinions on why they might have changed it all together. One but. more thing I'll say about, about Infinity War. Uh, in the theater that I was at with my girlfriend, we're sitting there, the movie ends, the credits roll, and the entire front section of the theater got just up and up. left. Yeah. And, and we're just sitting there like, D did they not know? The same How could thing? they not know? The same thing. Like, we had, mm -hmm. the, like, there was probably about a third of the audience that left once the credits started rolling. Yeah. 
But even more inexplicable was there was about 10 or 12 people that were sitting there mm -hmm. just watching the credits. You get through... Spoilers. There are two post credit scenes, guys. You get through the first post credit scene. Is there two post credit scenes? No, there's only the one. Yeah, it's just the there's, one. There's no mid credit scene. There's just the just post, the post credit, credit scene. scene. Mm -hmm. So we get all the way up to that point, and you know when you're about at the end of the credits. There's that one indicator in the credits to let you know you're at the end, and that's the songs. Mm -hmm. As soon as you start seeing the songs and listed then the out, little produced in Georgia. Which there are like, only yeah. two in the movie, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. So you get to the end. As the songs and those little things are scrolling up. You see them like walking down, stopping, because we're at the IMAX. Mm -hmm. They stop at like the top of the stairs. The songs start rolling up. And they're like sitting there waiting for like three or four minutes as mm -hmm. the credits are passing. Yeah, The songs roll up, the little producer things mm -hmm. and whatnot roll up. And then they walk out of the theater and didn't stay for the credit. The, the, they didn't seem like, why yeah. would you stay for the entire credits and, then and then not leave, yeah. watch the scene. Here, here's a good indicator about if a movie's going to have a, a post credit scene or not. If the lights are still down, there's going to be a post credit scene. Also, I mean, I feel like people forget that we literally carry a computer with us yeah. everywhere. That's one thing I did because I was with my friend Colette. And she's like, do you think, because, you know, we're waiting and there's no mm -hmm. mid-credit scene, which is strange for Marvel movies lately. There's yeah. usually a mid-credit. Yeah, like, I think there think... was one that didn't, and I can't remember what it was, yeah. but I think there was one that didn't do it. Yeah. And she looks at me and goes, do you think maybe there's just not a scene? And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, there's a scene. There's so I pull be. out my phone and I Google it real quick because no one's going to be like, excuse me, ma'am, you're interrupting my credit right. viewing experience. And it tells you, so I don't understand, because we had a few people who that just got up and left, and I'm like, all right, bye, plebes. Yeah. But then we had a bunch of other people who... Plebes. Who just, who just, you know, did that same kind of questioning thing collected, and then just decided, mm, you know, I don't have the two minutes to spare, and right. I don't walk around with a computer and left. I'm like, what are you I could get it if doing? people were getting up to, like, run to the bathroom real quick and yeah, come back, yeah. but that just didn't happen in no. my theater. People were straight and up leaving. My girlfriend, bless her heart, was saying, they're like, they, did, do they not know? Should we tell them? Like, no, they're stupid and they can fuck off. Yeah. They, they, they'll they lose out. Yeah. And you can also tell, like, which people are coming in to, like, watch because they're fans and they're just, like, frothing at the mouth of this movie. Yeah. And then you can tell the people that got on the hype train, like, oh, Infinity War's out. It's supposed to be really good. I hear yeah. it's good. I guess let's go see it, honey. And then they sit down and watch. They're like, well, well that's over. Like, there's yeah. you, you honest, have to be see, invested. I did see one girl... Who obviously came with her boyfriend, and she probably enjoyed the movie, but didn't really care about it. And she was obviously pushing him to to get out of there, like she did not want to sit through the credits. Oh my gosh, yeah. that'd be that'd be breakup see, like, worthy for me right there. Like, see, bitch, I, sit down. I, I I was lucky. I, I was I was getting a few arm squeezes yeah. throughout the throughout the like what like yeah yeah <laughs> this shit's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend even they're, they're like. I'm not going to, you know, this is not a spoiler, but there are parts that are emotional in this movie. Very much. And, and definitely my girlfriend was like, yeah, I heard your breathing change a couple times. <laughs> like, yes, it did. Yes. <laughs> I'm not a sissy. <laughs> I just have feelings. But I have emotions. I didn't see it with my boyfriend, but I called him afterwards, and he mm. was just so excited for me to see it yeah. for reasons I can't spoil in this video, mm. um, but that I will in the next. Yeah. So he's like, let me know as soon as you've seen it. Let me know as soon as you see it. So I get out of the theater and I call him. And I don't, there's no preface. I'm like, what in the actual fuck? <laughs> yeah. And he goes, so you saw Infinity War. So like, and I think, you know, there's a lot of spoilers that people are avoiding online. Mm -hmm. But people are Thank also. You. Yeah, Thank which you. I, I think for the most part, people have done an incredible job not spoiling the movie. Yeah. I think people have done a terrible job not spoiling the movie. <laughs> and I say for this reason. Yeah. They've done a great job at avoiding details. Mm -hmm. They do not give you details. Though I did see one meme, and it was hysterical mm -hmm. after I saw the movie. Right. Because it was... Out of it, context spoilers? Yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was out of context oh spoilers. Oh my gosh. Right. So it's, it's just rained. It's, it's like 12, 12 or 16 pictures. One of the just, pictures is Squidward. One of the pictures is Squidward. <laughs> one of the pictures is a, donut. a donut. Like right. So you're watching it and like... After you go back and you watch it again, you're like, ha, 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 ha. And, like you see all these spoilers yeah. that are very much in there. Right. Um, and there's actually a lot. Well, without of, any context, I can't imagine making sense of that. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's a particular meme out on the internet right now that is 
all over the place and is just propagated everywhere because of Infinity War that also offers no context, doesn't even let you know that it's referencing Infinity War yeah. until you've seen it and then you're like, right. oh, you fucking assholes. But, is, it, is it the six panel comic? No. No? No. Okay, I'm thinking something else. That's yeah, another one I've been seeing a lot. I like the reaction ones too where it's like the yep. pictures of the actual actors and yeah. it's like that's, me before Infinity War, me after. And, the, and that's what I mean like they're not doing a great job and not spoiling the movie. Even though going in, mm -hmm. I had no idea of the details. Yeah. I did not know what happened to who and when, what, where, how, why. Mm -hmm. You just know when you see I just memes. knew because of these memes something that bad. something fucked up happens at the end. <laughs> that's all I knew. Like just looking at these memes like, oh, Oh, wait. <laughs> like, looking at that meme, there's one with Chris Hemsworth where yep. it's like, me excited to see Thor. And it's just, right, like, I mean, uh, Infinity uh, War, just like this. And then it's like, me afterwards. <laughs> and it's a true sentiment. It really yeah. does fit. It's very mm -hmm. perfect. But I knew going in that it wasn't going to be... Uh, but to be fair, woo! Marvel kind of gave you that hint, too. They were like, hey, man, yeah. this is going to be shocking. Yeah, and I shocking. Think, especially knowing that it's it was gonna it was originally meant to be a split up movie, like you know some fucked up shits happening. Like yeah, you know you some had to know going in like something's gonna go down. Well, like and one of the things that I thought was really cool I mean, that happens with the Harry Potter franchise yep. in the seventh movie. I yeah. mean, you know, it doesn't get happy again until the second movie. And it's, like it, it's and, rough. And, yeah. and and they mentioned that you know they the the producers had said you know when the initial plan was to do. The two-part movie as Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2. Mm. That um, one of the things they wanted to avoid, which I think they did really well, was they didn't want that dangling carrot moment. Mm. Mm -hmm. They didn't want you to get to the end of the movie and be like, Whatever. Oh! Like, and the no, there's something that's going to happen soon. Yeah. They wanted it to be... Like, oh, it a, happened! <laughs> they wanted it to be a clean-cut ending yeah. and say, all right... Now, you guys can speculate out the fucking ass mm -hmm. as to what's going to happen next. Because right like now, that. we all have a very definitive idea of what mm -hmm. the fuck just happened. Because yeah. a lot of those movies, like The Hunger Games, was the worst for it. You get that climax point, and then they end, and for like just a year, you're like, all right. Yeah. And you don't even Here's go back. Here's my anxiety attack. But you don't can't. even go back and rewatch that movie because you don't want that cliffhanger yeah. again. Like, uh, it's, fuck it. It's literally the worst. But I like but that they gave you a resolution. You they, might not be thrilled. But they gave you a resolution. Yeah. They give you a resolution, and now we have the ability to say, I literally have no fucking clue what's going to happen in this mm -hmm. next movie. Don't even know where to begin. Yeah. Have a clue. Like, I, can, I have an idea as to some of the things that might happen. Yeah. Some really... of the things that should definitely fucking happen. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how it's going to go down. I don't know how it's going to progress. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's I, not a what's going to happen next. It's a where do we go from here. And, and I couldn't say the same thing about this movie. Like, going in, because going in, I was like, okay... This has to happen, and this has to happen, and this has to happen, and that's going to be the majority of the movie. And it was. Mm -hmm. And the, but like now you're right. Like after seeing it, uh, I'm I'm looking like I don't know how that's going to work out. Yeah, I don't know what. Even, I don't know where we go from here. Yeah. Even I don't, comic book fans, you know, are kind of blindsided by mm -hmm. this one because it doesn't follow. Yeah, they they they, they take. Well, I don't want to say it doesn't follow because that would also entail spoilers. They amalgamize a few different stories mm -hmm. involving mm -hmm. Thanos and the Avengers and the Infinity Gauntlet and they kind which of... Is, which is what they've done with the MCU this whole time anyway. With, with, it's yeah. just mixing of stories and like making them work for the... the yeah, and like the purpose of change, and then like you're changing it canonically as well for the MCU. Yep. Like, uh, and I feel like they borrowed from a lot of really cool places. Mm -hmm. So going in, if you have read comics... And you read the Infinity War, which is not actually what it's based on. It's based on uh, Infinity, yeah. uh, Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity Gauntlet. Yep. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you've read that in your head, you're like, "Well, I have a pretty good idea of what's going to happen." Mm -hmm. No, you no, don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you are not emotionally or mentally prepared. Yeah. It's. It's. I will say it, it was a <laughs> wild ride. Oh. Uh, we went and saw it late at night, mm -hmm. and uh, I had to work the next morning. And I got about three hours of sleep Worth because it. I was up thinking about it. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend were talking about it. And it, it's 
it's definitely something that don't don't watch the movie if you have some shit you have to do afterwards. <laughs> like this is definitely a go home and chill and talk a little bit mm-hmm. kind of movie, not a all right, now I got that movie under my belt, time to go to work. Yeah. No. No. Mm. Honestly, I've been like frothing at the mouth to talk about spoilers because right. mm-hmm. now that I've like up until I saw it, I'm just like, nobody say a fucking thing to me. Don't <laughs> fucking say a thing. Yeah. Now that I'm seeing him, like, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Yeah. Can we talk Reaching about it? Have you anyone, seen it? Like anybody? Like anybody? Actually, like, typically we shoot this show on Tuesdays, and we didn't because that's when you were going to go see it. So, yeah. Same here. So now it's Thursday. And mm-hmm. yeah. And so. I definitely felt like yeah. knowing you had seen it mm-hmm. and knowing Jason had seen it. Yeah, Jason hasn't spoken much this is it. No, he's been real quiet. I think he's <laughs> moody. Um, but knowing you guys had seen it and knowing that in all likelihood anybody else we had on the show would see it. Yeah. I appreciate well, that we all look at the empty chair where Jason should reside. <laughs> Today, guest starring about? with us is Jason's ghost. Yeah. But uh, I knew that I had to see it because otherwise you guys would be saying stuff and mm-hmm. trying to avoid spoilers mm-hmm. and I would just be getting pissed off because I feel like I'd be getting spoiled. Yeah. So I I'm glad I saw it. I think definitely a good reason to postpone the show because yeah. now we're all on the Absolutely. same page. Because it was like with Star Wars where just you and I had seen it and they had and we're like, ooh. Yeah. I, still, I still haven't seen it. Really? Oh. I plan on downloading it because I have a $15 iTunes wow. gift card. But, um, all right, so but I kind of want to cut off the Avengers talk for for now because like we are gonna do our other videos we are, we and, are. and do that we are. and there's other things I want to get to one of them be, like some of the trailers that were that were ahead of this movie mm-hmm. uh, one of them being Venom I saw none of the trailers really I was in a very long concession line uh, I yeah. actually did not see and it was the also Venom an IMAX trailer. no no it was uh, I, I watched not. it in 3D IMAX mm-hmm. so you know they only have like Might have different four commercials like that, yeah. yeah um. um if you haven't, like, the I Venom trailer is Deadpool actually available trailer. on... What, you had a Deadpool trailer? I had a Deadpool trailer. Not in mine. Oh, Deadpool's coming out real soon. It yeah. is, actually, this I'm month. very excited about that. Yep. Venom. So is Han Solo. This is, like, the mm-hmm. month of movies. Oh, yeah. The so there, movie. There's a lot to see. Venom. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Venom. Okay. So the, the trailer that I saw at the theater, you can actually see online. It's it's all over online right now. You can okay. go on YouTube and watch it. Um, and I don't know if you have... I have not. Have you? I have not. Yeah, I've seen the Venom. I wish we could just project it up here. Basically, it's 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 Venom. If you don't know, is a character that came from Spider Man, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and they have taken that part completely out of this movie. Yes. Um, Spider Man has nothing to do with Venom, as far as we've been told so far. Venom is not in the MCU, Mm. right? As far as as like, it's in the same way that Deadpool and X Men are not in the MCU. But Venom is not with the Deadpool or X Men either. No, he's not with Deadpool Um, X Men. He's his own. Now, I, I did, however, hear, and I don't know how true this is, but I did hear that Tom Holland, who plays Peter Parker in Spider-Man, was on set at one point, uh, possibly as Peter Parker, not as Spider-Man. So, hmm. It's interesting. Now, see, I do take issue. Mm-hmm. I take issue, sir. Okay. And the reason I take issue is, believe it or not, I did a little bit of reading up on Venom today. Okay. Um, when I say reading up, I mean list articles. <laughs> uh, but um, right. Venom, and this is something I already knew about Venom, mm-hmm. is you know, Venom is a symbiote mm-hmm. coming from outer space, yep. and he latches onto Spider-Man mm-hmm. and uh, Spider-Man's suit, mm-hmm. and becomes Dark Spider-Man, and then Spider-Man rids himself of the symbiote suit. Yep. And Eddie Brock, a rival journalist of uh, Peter Parker's, of yeah. uh, Peter Parker's, Embodies gets the, the suit. suit. And the suit takes over. Mm -hmm. A lot of Venom's design Mm -hmm. is based on Spider-Man because the symbiote takes on characteristics of its host and actually Mm -hmm. learns from its host and like travels from host to host to host all the time. A lot of its personality's Venom is based off of its host. Right. So its first host was Spider-Man. So So that's where it gets its image from. Yeah. So the only issue that I have is how are they going to recreate... Spider-Man. That classic Venom image, mm-hmm. which is basically Spider-Man. bulky black, open mouth, toothy, tonguey Spider Man, yep. and not explain it. Spider-Man. And not right. include Spider Man, because either that or else the design is going to be off. And I don't want to see another Spider Man 3 Venom rendition. Yeah. The only thing I can think is, is like, you don't, from what I can recall from the from the trailer, you don't oh, see a full terrible. body Venom. You do see the, the symbiote kind of come up over his head, 
and form the 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 venom face with the tongue and the teeth and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you don't see it doesn't show as far as I can tell. You don't see like the the spider on it, over the chest. It almost looks like a tick. Who originally had the rights to Spider Man and made the original Spider Man movies? No, no, see, um, I just love how their their rendition of Venom was just a black Spider Man suit. Well, I mean, mm-hmm. Eddie Brock does do Venom at one point, but it's it's just so hokey because a lot of the superhero movies and Infinity War is is guilty of this as well. Um, we didn't recognize superheroes by their costumes and by their masks in some instances. Spider-Man wears a mask. Mm. Iron Man wears a mask. Venom has a mask. Um, a lot of these movies will, because they want their actors to get FaceTime, yeah. will have them take off their mask mm. or take off their helmet all of the time. Yeah. So... You 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 get a scene with Spider Man mm-hmm. and Iron Man, but they want to make sure you see Tom Holland and Robert Downey Jr. So yeah. even though they're in this dangerous precarious situation, like oh sh- no, let me take my helmet off. Let's have a chat real quick. Right. Like, and then, and then they did the same thing in Spider Man Three. Only they did it in like the pinnacle fight scene where you actually get the Venom reveal and mm-hmm. him and Peter Parker are fighting, but. For some reason, you have to reveal Topher's Grace, Topher Grace's head, like four or five times right. during the fight. Like, can I just get fucking Venom, please? <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> but that and that, but that's yeah. how it is. It's the star power. Like, we have this act, this this big star, and you need to see his face. And I thought they would fix that with Iron Man at least because they keep showing him inside the suit. And I thought that was a great way to do that. Mm-hmm. It's a fantastic way where you don't have to look at the Iron Man face all the time. Because you can't, you don't get emotion out of that. No, but you get to see his face inside the suit with the kind of heads up display, and mm-hmm. it but, looks right. Yeah, yeah, but they keep having him take the damn helmet off. Yeah, they have him take the helmet off all the time. Yeah. Now, for for a minute there, for a few of the movies before his technology advanced, and I won't tell you how, um, they would do like that clampy that thing, thing yeah, where yeah. like the helmet was still on. It was just like like the the front part would slide yeah, up, or slide something. up. Yeah. Um, but they do that a lot where they remove that that quintessential mask mm-hmm. off of the character just yeah. so you can see that face. Like, once we've established that this is Iron Man, let's just... Like, Iron Man never wears a helmet. Right. Like, he he, re- he does, not unless he's knee-deep in shit. Um, you know, Star-Lord is another one. Something. Star-Lord is another one where, yeah. granted, he did not have nearly as much exposure mm-hmm. uh, beforehand, before the movies were phenomenal yeah. and took off, but... He wears that red-eyed mask. Like, yeah. that's what his character wears. And you see that on all, it like, the action the figures yeah. and figurines and all this other stuff. He's wearing that red-eyed mask. But he wears it for maybe a cumulative 45 seconds in any movie. To be fair, <laughs> right? there's a lot of comic arcs where he doesn't, like, and the, uh, the legendary Star-Lord, which is one that I read a lot, there's plenty of drawings of him not in his mask. Right. No. So. And it's not like he needs, it's not like yeah. with Iron Man, where, like, Iron Man kind of needs that mask on. He needs that heads-up display to see what he's doing yeah. and do everything. But, you know, right. Star-Lord basically just needs it so he can travel in space, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Because um, he kind of looks cool. But back to Venom. Look. Back to yeah. Venom. So we've removed Spider-Man from the equation, apparently, allegedly. Yep. Um, and you've got we've got Tom Hardy mm-hmm. in the role of Eddie Brock. Now I the, think physically speaking, mm-hmm. perfect Eddie Brock. Yeah. Who's Tom Hardy? Tom Hardy was Bane. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. He's All also right. he's been in Peaky Blinders. Mm-hmm. Um, he I have not he's seen the new that. Mad Max. Um. He's, he's been, been in, he's been a lot of stuff. He was in Revenant, wasn't he? He was in Revenant. Um, he was in that movie with him and Shia LaBeouf when they were Rum Runners. Yes, um, uh, I can't remember what it was called, but yeah, he played the older brother of Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, he, he's um, he's been in tons okay. of stuff. He was in yeah. Rock and Rolla. Yeah, okay. fantastic actor, British actor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but in this movie, he plays a guy from Brooklyn, I believe. Mm-hmm. Is he? Uh, and he, he puts on a weird accent. Yeah, like I don't know what's going on with this accent. It's not any accent I've ever heard. It's it's just like Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, Doctor Strange accent. I disagree. I think Benedict, like I did find it. I found that accent weird coming from Benedict Cumberbatch. I find this accent weird, weird on anyone. Anyone. Like, it's just an odd accent. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, it seems like now in in the original continuity of of the comics, Venom. Was primarily a villain. Yes, he was a bad guy. Bad guy. Um, and then eventually he became more anti-hero. Like every now and then he'd be helping out. 
Yeah. And then eventually the symbiote moved to another host and became an actual hero. That's great. This seems to be, like it actually says in the trailer that he's an anti-hero in this one. Yes. Um, so I don't know how I like that bit. So here's my question. Uh, if he's the anti-hero, mm -hmm. who's the villain? Are we going to see Carnage or is that Venom 2? I don't know. It seems from the trailer the villain is some corporation or the head of some corporation. Now, see, like, which I feel is a weak villain. It is because I, it's not like having having seen the trailer. I can't tell you now the name of the bad guy, which means he had no recollection for me whatsoever from the comics. Yep. Yeah. Now, like, I feel that there's a lot of untapped villains out there. Like, a lot of villains have this, you know, bank ability. You know, mm -hmm. like. The reason why Spider-Man 3 was so terrible yet did so well is because you had the promise of Venom. Yeah. And then... Even though it was done poorly. Even though it was done poorly, people still went out and saw it. Yeah. Because they released the coolest screenshots mm -hmm. from the movie. Like, oh, ooh, ooh, that's villain. And you don't realize that that's literally like a 45... Not a 40... Like a, a half a second clip. <laughs> and then it just moves off to him fucking being Topher Grace with fangs again. Um... <laughs> But, and emo uh, Spider-Man. Emo Spider-Man. Yeah. But I feel like there's also a lot of untapped franchises out there. Mm -hmm. DC has been struggling, guys. Yep. Let's just go ahead and get that out there on the table. With the exception of Wonder Woman, which was fantastic. That was, a, was, that was amazing. Beautiful. Yeah. And I feel like it was drugged down by all the other ones. We'll see how Aquaman turns out. Yeah. Um, but. I still haven't seen Justice League. I haven't either. I haven't no. either because I've heard. Just I've heard that it's it's a mess. Yeah. I've heard that it's. I've a mess. been honestly waiting to red box it, but I still like. I think I've seen it in red box. I think box it's in red box. Times, it. And I'm just like, do I really want to spend that dollar? I'm I'm <laughs> waiting for Netflix or Hulu hours. or HBO. It's going to come yeah. to one of those. But Batman Beyond. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I feel like. Why the hell haven't they tried to make a Batman Beyond movie? Like a live action Batman mm -hmm. Beyond. We've, we've been, like, right now, a lot of the really big blockbuster, blockbuster tentpole movies mm. have sci-fi elements. Sci-fi elements are in. Yeah. Big time. And I'm totally down with that. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be apropos to do a Batman Beyond and get a villain like Ink that we could definitely really well portray with CGI right. in the movie and do a Passing of the Torch. Like... They're not going to scrap the whole Justice League thing, which I don't know why they haven't yet. And if they're not going to do that, then fucking put Ben Affleck in some gray makeup or whatever and just go for it. But uh, <laughs> I want to see Batman Beyond. And yeah. I want to see some of the villains that you have in that franchise that don't exist anywhere else and wouldn't right. make sense anywhere else. And to see a cool new Batman without rebooting the franchise again. Yep. Like, I don't want to see Batman rebooted again, not for at least another 15 years. Mm -mm. I don't want to... I don't want to see it then. I don't want to see Spider-Man rebooted again anytime soon. No. Give me Batman Beyond. Give me a familiar but different franchise that people can kind of latch on to. And like, all right, well, you're still getting Bruce Wayne. You're still getting Batman. But this is yeah. different. Speaking of, do you remember the cartoon Teen Titans? Teen yes. Titans. Teen Titans was a great cartoon. It was amazing. And then they came up with Teen Titans Go, and that sucked. It's awful. And now they have a TV show coming out mm -hmm. called Titans. T Titans. And it does not look good. Mm. From I've, the from the, the the captures I've seen of just the characters in their in their costumes, I am not impressed. Uh, from that's what the internet has told me. Yeah. You know, I, I said, "Hey, internet, what do you think of this new Teen Titans thing?" Mm -hmm. And they're like, "Man, eh, not gonna be good." So. I mean, internet can be right. Yeah. Sometimes he gets he has a few misses, and you get things out of context, and <laughs> it's like somebody just telling you rumors. Right. But for the most part, internet doesn't let me down. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I probably still, won't watch it. I'll I'll check it out. I'll I'll at least give it a an, an episode or two. Now, is this like, a CW show? I don't know. Because that'll change everything. <laughs> if it's a CW show, I definitely won't watch it. You know? I I just don't get into them. The the, the the MCU the, shows like the like the Green Arrow and the not Black Lightning, not I mean, the the, the CW is what I yeah mean. CW. Yeah. No, I do like um like and Flash correct. and all those. I don't get into them. Correct really me if I'm wrong. Them. I feel like Riverdale is CW. It is. And mm -hmm. you know, 
It's it's actually it's pretty good. It's a good show. Well, I, see, it, here here's here's my grievance with the CW show. It's very teen. Not a sponsor. It's very teen. It's mm-hmm. very teen. It's very teen drama. It's very angsty. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of you know. And you like, do have to push past that, even with Riverdale like, sometimes. Like, uh, our just... teen friendships or our teen romance or uh, our teen problems. Mm-hmm. It's just a little too angsty to a point that I can't relate to it. And I... when you can't relate to it, that's when you lose me. I do not totally agree. I think. Early on in these shows, they were kind of that way, but I think all of them have grown because in the with with the Arrowverse, you have Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow, um, and I think they're adding some more stuff soon if they haven't already. But um, they start off with Arrow, and I really enjoyed Arrow. I've still enjoyed. It. I've, I've been watching it the past, this past week, um, and they've really maybe it's dark, like it's gotten really dark. There's a lot of very adult themes going on. Um, and the Flash has also got, kind of gone that way, and they're and I really love those shows. The other two, Supergirl, is my least favorite of all of them, Supergirl and it's got nothing to do with the fact that it's Supergirl. It's the fact that the writing is kind of bad. The writing's bad, and some of the acting ain't great either. I, I think the actress they chose. Well, I feel like I've seen her in Glee. Mm-hmm. And she did really well there, <laughs> and I feel like that's where she needed to stay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it. You can't always put it on the actress either because. Budgets She's and directions, like and, and, and like you work with the material you're yeah. given, but I think that's another issue that I have with it is that it's like a faux polish, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. Like the, the the costumes and the uniforms, and it's all so crisp and bright and vibrant. Yeah. But then you get shitty effects mm-hmm. on top and kind of bad dialogue in mm-hmm. between. So it feels like the imagery is really polished. And you can get behind the imagery and you want to see like the fight scenes and you want to see the choreography, but you don't want to hear him talk. That's yeah. how I For feel me, about it. Like it's yeah, a big phys- one I- like <laughs> visually polished, but the back the backside is yeah. it's where it's loose. A big one I come back to is Smallville. So I still mm-hmm. to this day have not seen the last two or three seasons of Smallville. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the main reason that at one point I had cable and then another point I did not. Yeah. And so there we are. You didn't really have the option anymore. Didn't have the option anymore. It was gone. And so I remember as a kid, though, you know, when I was a teen, mm-hmm. you know, coming home and Smallville season one and two and three being on and that I remember. And I was like, oh, it was such a good show. I loved it. And so I saw the first few seasons and on Amazon. I think it was oh. Amazon. I want to say it was Amazon or Hulu. And I started watching it again. Smallville? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. It's, no. Now that you're growing up, it's a little different, isn't it? It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my point. Yeah. Because uh, Smallville was in the same vein. It was yeah. like CW. WB, but well, that, that CW. was definitely it was a, CW. A, it was a teen drama. Like that was made for teens. And and these others like are Lois a and little Clark. bit more grown up. Like oh. I, I feel like it's like Lois and Clark, and it was just for me as a comic book fan, it's just disappointing mm. because. You're not getting epic fights yeah. and super cool super villains. You're not getting to see your hero in no. a costume. It's just like here's this spunky fucking kid who can here's fly this and run fast. Morality problem yeah. that Clark yeah. Kent is going to help his high school friends with. It, it's 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 the same thing with Riverdale. Yeah. In that they take a teen drama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they put a skin on it. Yep. All right, Small World teen drama Superman skin. All right, uh, Flash. Uh, teen drama flash skin all right uh there there's another example that i just had in my head like i (laughs) just oh uh riverdale is teen drama with an archie Archie skin skin. yeah and they're just taking these bankable characters Mm -hmm. and they're using but at the same time with riverdale I, i i have to disclude it from that because it does have that teen drama feel but it is so well written, on the other hand, and the costumes are so great, and the story I, is, I can look past that. I actually have to agree with Kate. I, I actually, I've only seen the first season of Riverdale, but I actually enjoyed what it was, because it's not just a teen, it's actually a pretty dark, mm-hmm. and everybody I, know I, I know, know. Like all dark teen comedy, or teen dramas, but. Mm-hmm. Like, you, It almost makes you, fun of itself, in fact, yep. I think. Uh, it's very aware my, of what it is. My girlfriend, Destiny and Michael, mm-hmm. everybody tells me how great this show Riverdale is, and I've sat and watched through an, a few episodes, and it's it's just not for me. It's not like, for everybody. Like when it, when when you see Jughead like talking to all of his snakes and you're like wearing a wife beater with his Jughead jingly ball hat and like we're getting serious. I just laugh. Apparently that's in season two. I haven't seen that yet. I oh. haven't seen that. Yet. <laughs> 
Well, I'm sorry for spoiling. Nah, it's fine. I just laugh. Yeah. It, because... Uh, now, that might also has... be because you didn't see it lead up to that. Yeah. But it's the it's first, possible. The first season has a lot going on. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But, yeah. Like, and uh, I feel I like they, they, they use funny names. Like, we're not going to use drug names. So, like, oh, they're getting high on goo-goo juice or whatever they call it. <laughs> like... <laughs> They're like ah, oh, they're, they're, they're goo goo heads. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know. It just it's yeah. like sprinkle sprackle or some yeah. nonsense. I will I'd, say it's definitely a teen drama. You can definitely yeah. tell, but I feel like it does have good content to it. Yeah, I'm sure it does. It has I, good bones. Their so version like, of uh, Kids in America that they did in season one was really good. That was actually yeah. They 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 actually covered uh, Kim Wilde's Kids in America, and did a great job of it. Hmm. I was very impressed. Uh, you mentioned uh, Lois and Clark. Uh, both those uh, actors, Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher, show up in Supergirl. Do they really? Yeah. As nope. Lois and Clark? No. no. They show up as completely different characters. But See, like, now, Lois and Clark was the show, like, when I was growing up, like, when I was a little, little kid, yep. and Lois and Clark would come on. First off, I didn't realize it was a Superman show, because I don't know who the fuck Lois and Clark are. <laughs> but then, like, I remember, like, it was on at one point, and I saw Dean Cain lying down on that green screen block pretending to fly <laughs> with the sky blowing over him and yeah. like talking on the phone or some shit and then like I'm like oh cool it's Superman and then I watched it and for the next 15 minutes it was nothing but bullshit talking and no more <laughs> Superman costumes yeah. I'm like this is trash <laughs> I don't want any part of this like and that's like that's how I feel about some of those shows is that yeah. As a comic book fan, yeah. I'm not always getting what I'm coming there for. Right. I'm and getting... Like with Smallville, they yeah. never did let Clark Kent fly because they never had the rights to. Yeah, well, they apparently they had said it in the very beginning of Smallville, they had one rule. Can't call no, him Superman? No flights, no tights. Yep. Is what they said. Which is dumb as shit. Which crippled <laughs> the show, I think. Yeah. It could have been so much better had those things. Yeah, I mean, and, and wow. the guy who plays Lex Luthor... Um, he's amazing. He's in awesome. Marvel? Yeah. yeah. He, yeah. He, he, he also... Michael he, Rosenbaum. He also does the voice of the Flash in the animated show, in the mm-hmm. animated movies. Yeah. He's awesome. And I think as Lex Luthor, in the bits that I saw him as Lex Luthor, he did a great job. Yeah. So I knew it wasn't the acting. Mm-hmm. It wasn't, you know, necessarily the actors... The the structure no, he, of the show itself is what I took issue with. Like, I know why it went on for so long. I know why they did it that way. But from my perspective, I felt like it was a mistake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They did it that way for budget reasons. That's why they said no flights, no tights. Like, they don't want right. to put him in a Superman costume because then they're going to be expected to have Superman fights and Superman flying around and all this good stuff. They didn't want to have hokey, cheesy effects. Mm. So they just wanted to cut yeah. all that shit out. And say, all right, well, we're just going to keep this real simple. Yeah. And I can respect it for that, but I won't enjoy it for that. <laughs> no, all right, guys. So. We've been talking a lot, a lot, a lot of superhero stuff. Yeah. I feel like this was a very smooth show. I didn't intend for it to be all superheroes all the time. Dave. And uh, that's what happened. Dave. I'm not sorry. No. Dave. What? Did you really think I did it not. wasn't going to be superheroes? I thought we were, I was going to try to get to other stuff. Uh, we actually had something to talk about with Smallville. Uh, look up Allison Mack if you don't know what we're talking about. Mm, yeah. She was my favorite part of that show, and now that is tainted. Yes, it is. Um, but see, like, I think if we would have started with other stuff and not moved into Infinity War, we might have stayed off the superhero topic. But once we got to Infinity yeah. War, I knew we really weren't going to go yeah. anywhere other than superheroes. True. But... We talk about Marvel and superheroes and shit like that a lot because we're nerds. Yeah. And we're going to so, do that again in a couple minutes, so you can watch that video coming tuned. up, too. Stay tuned. Uh, what would you learn tonight? <sighs> cool. Kate? Come back to me, too. All right, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> I learned that Dave learned nothing. <laughs> I, learned- I, le- I learned that we could keep talking about superhero movies forever, and I learned that a couple <laughs> episodes back. I learned that a couple episodes before that. I and I already knew that. I need to do some research on Allison Mack. You know, you don't know what we're talking about? Nope. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, shit. we'll tell you about it after. Uh, All right. Um, yeah, but I, I, I learned that uh, the internet um, can do wonderful things for spoiling and not spoiling things. Mm. But more importantly, I learned that all of my friends really like the CW shows. And you don't. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> I don't. I'm with you there yeah. on most of those. Uh, I just can't do it. I learned that you guys suck and you don't like my shows. <laughs> All yeah. right. Thanks to our patrons. Uh, if you want to be a patron of the show, or, the, or our, actually all of TalkieBox, you can check out uh, patreon.com slash TalkieBox. 
and donate uh, as little or as much money as you want to to help us out. And you can get cool prizes and I say prizes, more rewards, I guess. Rewards! Stickers, t-shirts, all kinds of stuff. Thanks for doing raffles. Um, if you donate $500, Dave will do your makeup. I'll do your makeup. That's not even one of the rewards. I just will. <laughs> Definitely will. Yeah. You, I don't care if you're a guy or a girl. Makeup's getting done. Wake he up. will get up early in the morning, <laughs> drive to your house, mm -hmm. do your makeup before he goes to work. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's going to be early. <laughs> Especially early. depending on where you live. Mm -hmm. You might still be asleep when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anything else? Nope. nope. Have a good night, ladies and gents. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye.